So we're here at the Freescale booth, and uh, you are launching a Cortex M7 product. Hi, my name is Danny Basler. I'm one of the product marketers at Freescale, working on microcontrollers, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Kinetis V series, which is a family for motor control and digital power conversion applications. Uh, you can see some of the demos uh, running behind me. These <coughs> showcase our new uh, ARM Cortex-based solutions. Um, specifically, we have a variety of different families available, and uh, starting from entry-level low-end microcontrollers on the Kinetis KV1X family, which support entry-level brushless DC and PNS. Motor control on the Cortex M0 Plus and moving up into ARM Cortex M4 based families KV3X and KV4X for more advanced, uh, higher performance motor control systems. What's the difference between 3X and 4X? Uh, the difference is in both the performance, the memory options supported, and indeed the peripherals, specifically the analog and timing capabilities, which are critical for motor control applications. I can show you in a, in a moment. But just before I do that, you'll notice at the top right hand side of the slide is the Kinetis KV5X, which is our brand new Cortex M series, M7 series family for motor control. It's been you announced. just announced it now. We did, indeed, yes. Yeah. So it's not currently available, but it has been announced uh, this week at Embedded World. You can see here, just if you zoom in, the variety of performance of motor control analog and timing peripherals that we option, as well as some of the other um, <coughs> features of these devices. There, it's a very scalable family in terms of the range of uh, features and <coughs> motor control applications that we can support. And it's supported by a very uh, detailed and comprehensive ecosystem from Freescale and third party partners. So all the software people have been doing with the Cortex M4, will it just work on M7? That would put over to the <coughs> M7, yes, indeed. Uh -huh. Alright, so uh, what kind of products does it go into? Uh, mainly industrial drive type applications, uh, but it can also be in consumer. Uh, motor control is an absolutely enormous area of development for uh, digital uh, microcontroller usage and it can be simple brushless DC motor control or advanced multi-motor systems uh, where you have connectivity and security as well and very much part of the ongoing discussion around the IoT is an area where the KV5X in particular can play a part because it has not only the motor control features but also um, security with encryption and indeed an Ethernet controller so you can connect motor control systems over a security your IoT enabled network. So there's demand in the, in the industry, in the market for uh, even more performance and this is why you release this one? There is indeed motor control is a particularly demanding application on the processor and we have a not just on the Cortex M core, the very latest ones, but we also put our own IP around that to make sure that the uh, CPU is as lightly loaded as possible when doing the algorithm uh, management so that we can attend to other parts of the application, whether it's being running a connectivity interface or indeed a graphical user interface. So. Can you say a little bit more about this IP? How does it work? Uh, well, we have things, if you look here on the block diagram, here's your, your basic core features and you have your DSP capability on the M7. Um, we also have some instruction and data cache which supports, um, alleviates or removes some of the, the processing um, mode on the processor, supporting low latency application functions and there's also an intermodule crossbar which allows your, your analog and timing features basically to manage themselves autonomously without just being involved. So you're talking 240 megahertz? We are, yes. Uh, and uh, when is it available? Uh, this product will be sampling in June, or, uh, June, July of 2015 and then into production uh, in approximately September this year. Alright, so looking forward to uh, uh, a whole bunch of uh, new advanced features in uh, Cortex-M at Freescale.